send all your ammunition, 20 in the body, 10 in the head. Ready? Weapons free. Put your weapon safe on safe, you're reloaded. Say, drop the mag. Alright, keep your weapon facing downward. Thank you. Alright, stay right there. Alright, y'all. Staff Sergeant Kresge. Staff Sergeant Kresge. Hello, Kresge. If you wait, you can, we can do it on the first side again. Yeah. Uh, then I'll give you the go ahead to lock and load. Then I'll Eleven. Lane three, name? Over one, I hope what I didn't say that loud. What is it? I know. You guys soar? Load, load them in your click, however you want them. So this morning we started off with a 12 mile ruck. Um, it's actually interesting because during the ruck, I was t informed by my team leader that one of our uh, squad members, he couldn't get to his water sewer, so he was hurting a little bit. Um, so I took the initiative. I essentially went back, um, sacrificed my time and put his needs first and let him get to my water source. Um, so really tying back into the NCO Creed. So uh, knowing my soldier and putting their needs above my own. So it really, it's really, it's really cool to actually be implementing it every single day. Um, I live by the creed and I'll die by the creed. How does the I would say overall, um, the ruck, it, it comes down to an individual event, but since it is a squad event, I would say taking care of my soldiers is always the first thing on my mind. Um, whatever happens to them, without them, I'm nothing. So I'm always gonna take care of them and sacrifice anything I can to ensure their success because without their success, our team it won't succeed. I would say the most rewarding part is probably uh, seeing my squad uh, grow, right? Finding their weaknesses, working on those weaknesses, identifying them so next time whenever we do compete or, or just go back to our home unit, we can work on those things and implement them in our training. I would say just keep the eye on the prize, realize that we're representing all of TRADOC, so it's a huge deal, it's a huge deal and a great honor, honestly. Um, I would say just keep an eye on the prize and just having that, that mentality to just go hard every single day. So I would say just be all you can be. Um, don't, don't ever downplay yourself. You can achieve anything as long as you put your mind towards it. And it doesn't, doesn't mean you have to know everything going into these competitions. You can learn on the fly if you have a good team, squad leader, team leader, even Joe, is all their information, their knowledge, you can put together and formulate a way to succeed.